you all can be placed on the rest of the DUI. All right, welcome back, guys, to another night shift with Ride with the Hive. Tonight, you're with Sergeant Pollard, the DUI squad. We're going to be working in Salt Lake County. We're going to see what kind of fun we can get into. How are we doing? Good. Good. I'm Sergeant Pollard with the Utah Highway Patrol. The reason why I stopped you, I was following you back here on State Street. I noticed you drift to the right. It looked like you were going to change lanes, but then you jerk back into your lane. We made the left onto 5th South. You turn wide. I just want to stop and make sure that you're doing okay. Yes, I'm okay. Put my lights and turn. Yeah. So after, after we went around that truck, there was one point where you drifted off to the right over the lane line and they kind of jerked back just before we made this left turn on the fifth south. You remember that? No. Okay. I just go straight and put my my sign, turn this this side and Yeah. Okay. Do you have your driver's license, registration proof of insurance with you? Yes. I don't remember I did something wrong. It is why I say why you stop me. Right. But, yeah. But it's okay. Just let me find my insurance. Yeah. Rosie, have you had anything to drink tonight? No, no. No. Okay. While you're looking for that, let me go check on something really quick. I'll be right back, okay? Yeah. Okay. So she's still looking for her insurance, but talking with her, she does not uh, understand <laughs> why I stopped her. She doesn't recall drifting out of her lane or turning wide on that. So, talking with her, she's going to meet up with some friends. I'm not smelling anything. Uh, her responses seem normal. So, I think she may have been distracted with her GPS a little bit, but it's mounted up, so I don't think she was like holding on to her phone or anything. License is valid. I don't think I've got anything else to go off of, so we're gonna check her registration, check her license, make sure all that's good, and probably cut her loose and try to find something else. Okay, Adriana, here's your driver's license back. Okay. So like I said, I'm not sure if it was just like a brief distraction, like it was right after we got through that little bit of construction. So I just want to make sure that you're okay to drive. Do you have any questions for me? No, no, okay. I don't have questions. Okay. Just, just side check. Why he stopped me? Right, <laughs> yeah, no, I just, I just want to make sure you're okay to drive. So I appreciate you wearing your seatbelt. Um, just with this sign here, be careful when you merge back into traffic. Yes, I'll turn I my lights off so you can my, see. Yes, yep, thank you. Just be you. careful and tonight, okay? With my sign. Yep, perfect. So okay, much. take care. The initiating camera on this dark colored sedan. We got their park lights on, they're like their daytime running lights on, but there's no lights on the rear. Solid like through a 1660. How are we doing? Hello. Hey, I'm Sergeant Pollard with Utah Highway Patrol. And the reason why I stopped you, do you have your headlights on? Hey, no, no speak English, sorry. Do you English? Un poco? No, no, no English, no. sorry. Do you speak Spanish? No. no. Um, your headlights? Uh, yep. Close. They're. Oh, there you go. Yep, that's it. So pull it back. Alta. There you go. Okay. Ah, uh, yeah. Yeah. Do you have your driver's license, licencia? Ah, licencia, sí. Okay. Uh, do you have the vehicle registration? Registration, uh, Carl? No, no, no comprendo. So for your temporary tag, ah, no, yes. Perfecto. Perfecto. Okay. Si está. <laughs>
Okay. Right. One moment, though. Okay. I'm just gonna verify everything's good. Got his headlights on, so that's good. License is valid. Yeah, valid license. No odor. Okay, you well? Good. Okay, here's that back to you. Okay. Here's that. So, I just want to make sure you had your lights on. So. Uh, yeah. Uh, it's being. Yep. It's being. Yep. 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 That's it. Okay. All right. Any questions for me? Preguntas? No. No. Okay. Okay. Thank you. All right. Take care. All right. All right. So with that last stop, uh, stopped him for no tail lights on. You can tell that he had his headlights on, but completely blacked out from the rear. Went up and immediately noticed that he was Spanish speaking only. Let me know. Seventh grade Spanish class only gets me so far. So with the language barrier, doing the best we can. This is something we encounter every day as far as uh, encountering drivers that speak different languages so you just have to be flexible and correct the issues so we got the headlights back on uh, everything with his driver's license was in order everything with, with the vehicle was in order and there's no odor of alcohol no physical characteristics of possible impairment so get him sent on his way correct the issue guys headlights back on tail lights back on and, and initiating camera on this Dodge Dart straddling the lane line, 500 south on it, I-15 southbound. Still straddling the lane line, back in the lane. So obviously in the curve, well, back across the lane, and he's getting pretty close to that truck. Falling distance, less than a second. That's the third time he's gone across. Lane change, no signal. <laughs> and across the next lane. So right now I'm just waiting for a better spot to stop them. This area of I-15, there's a lot of bridge structures as traffic drives over it. It flexes and moves with traffic. And so I want to stop them on a straight stretch of road that isn't a bridge. It's back across the lane line again. So as we get over here on the collector, get into a straight stretch of road to stop him. I think he's been outside of his lane more than he's been in it. Too bad. I'm Sergeant Pollard with Utah Highway Patrol. The reason why I stopped you, you're all all over the road, man. I know. What's I, going on? I'm gonna be honest with you. This is exactly what I thought. You trying to eat? I I I, op I, I was opening my sauce in my nuggets uh -huh. while driving. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm not the smartest man ever. All right, we're. Yeah, I was just being impatient. I apologize. That. Okay. I get it. I mean, I get hungry too. But, yeah, we, we, we got time and place, right? Do you have your driver's license, registration, proof of insurance with you? Where are you headed to? I'm going home right now. Home? Where's home at? Where are you coming from? My girlfriend's house. Let me give those back to you. Um, when was the last time you had anything to drink? I had anything to drink You haven't had anything? Okay. All right. You haven't had anything to drink at all. No, any medications? Anything like that? I don't take any medications at all. Okay. Yeah. All right. Let me go check on something really quick. I'll be right back. All right. Sure. Wow. So I walk up there, and he's got <laughs> he's got his thing of McDonald's nuggets in his lap, and sauce just spilled everywhere. So I'll pull him out talk to him, see if I can smell anything coming from him. It smells like there's more than just the, the food. The food smells delicious right now. But it smells like there could be something else going on. I'll have you step out here and talk to me for just one second. Are there any weapons inside the vehicle? No. No? Alright, come on back here with me. Okay. Alright. 
So, did you realize you were all over the road back there? I'll be completely honest, I was driving my knee, right? Oh. I had the chicken nuggets in my hand, oh. I was opening the sauce in my mouth, I'm driving my knee, I just got comfortable. Yeah. You know, you, I, it, oftentimes here, five things in my hand, I, I'll just sit here and drive my knee, my knee on the steering wheel. So I'll just open the chicken nuggets, open my sauce packet. That's crazy. Yeah. You realize how dangerous that is, right? Yeah, it, okay. it was just stupid. And like I said, I got comfortable. Completely a mistake, and I apologize. Okay. Anything that happens, like, consequence, take it for that. I'll take it. Okay. At the end of the day, it's okay. being stupid. Right. So, so I'm sorry. So just, just based on your eyes like bloodshot red glossy, I want to make sure that you haven't, you said you yeah. haven't been drinking, no, right? No, no, no. When no. was the last time you had anything to drink? I haven't had anything to drink all night. Actually, I was just hanging out with my girlfriend, like okay. I said. We were watching a movie. Okay. Um, I just want to make sure you're good, so yeah. I can send you on your way. So no, for sure. Let's come over here to the front of my car. I'm going to have you stand right here on my light, turn and face me. Yeah. You're going to stand with your feet together, arms on your sides, just like this. It's okay if I blink, right? Absolutely, yeah. Contest. No, it's not. No, sorry, contest. Contest. You're trying it up right now. Let's try it again. So the next test I'd ask you to do is a, a walking test, walk yeah. to turn test, a walking heel to toe on, down an imaginary straight line. Yeah. Um, I'm going to get you in a starting position. It's very yeah. important you follow my instructions for this test. Yes, sir. When I get you in the starting position, you're going to maintain that position. I don't want yes, you to start sir. walking or step out of that position until I finish giving you the test instructions. Yes, sir. You understand? Yes, sir. From where you're at right now, yeah. I want you to match a straight line going out across the pavement here in front of you. Okay? Yeah. That line's going to be about the width of your foot. Just like this? Yep. So your, your left foot's going to go on that line. Your right foot will be in front of your left foot, touching yeah. heel to toe with your yeah. arms down your sides. Yes, sir. So can you stand like this for me? Okay, so I'm gonna have you maintain this position. Again, I don't want you to start walking or step out of this position until I completely give you the test instructions. Do you yeah. understand? Yes, sir. Yes. I'll, I'll demonstrate it for you so okay. you can see what I expect you to do. Okay. Okay, so get back in that starting position for me. So it'd be your right foot in front of your left. There you go. Sorry, this is kind of like a weird angle to balance. Okay. The shoes aren't laced at all. Who do you want to tie him up? Would that help? No, that's fine. I can just do that. Okay. Seven. So flying. Two. Three. One. So for this test, you're gonna take a deep breath in, you'll seal your lips around the straw, blow into it with a long steady breath, you'll hear this click once you're done. Okay? okay. So big deep breath in, and go ahead and blow. Keep going, keep going, keep going, big breath. Okay, so I don't think you're being completely honest with me, man. When, when was the last time you had something good? It's probably like 7:30, 8 okay. p.m. What, what were you drinking? Beer. Beer. I had a Stella. Yes, sir. How much? Two Stellas. Just two beers? Yes. Yes. Final answer? Final answer. Okay. So I'm gonna, gonna show you where you're at right now. Okay. I don't base my decision off this number. This shows me whether the impairment I'm seeing is coming from alcohol or whether it's coming from something else, okay? Mm -hmm. So basically this just tells me if there's alcohol on board. So what that means is I gotta base the decision based off the driving pattern, my training, my experience, my conversation with you, and everything that I'm seeing through the test, okay? Based on that, I don't think you should be driving, okay? okay? So you're gonna be placed under arrest for DUI, okay? And have you turn face away from me, place your hands behind your back. Okay, widen your stance for me. No, it's part just a little wider. Wider, there you go. There, so there's nothing I can do, officer. Unfortunately, I, like I said, I was I was driving with my knee. I I, I passed every physical test. I had a beer at eight o'clock p.m. Yeah. So, so I'll walk you through the process. So with these tests, it's not necessarily pass or fail. Okay. It's just observations that I'm making to yes, determine whether or not you're impaired. Okay. Yes, sir. So I'm gonna pat you down really quick before I put you in my car. I'm gonna have you face my car. So it's oh. right over here in front. Do you have anything sharp on you that's gonna poke, stick, or stab me? Not Anything all, that, I, that I need to be aware of? Not at all, okay. sir. So widen your stance for me again. Sir, uh, I promise, I, you know, I relaxed. I, I sat down after drinking the beers for a while to make sure yeah. I was good to go home. I hear you. I stopped, I got some chicken nuggets, I was driving with my knee. It, I, I, that's why I, I kept the nuggets in my hand while you pulled me over. I have been very respectful and responsive. I, I, you know, I've done the test right. And I, I, I appreciate your respect. I'm not driving, man. Man. I, I, just, I just accepted a return offer to a company this summer. I, I'm doing all the right things, sir. 
I don't think you're bad, dude. I think I think you just made a mistake tonight. Okay, I do. I do think you're impaired. We'll talk about the process as far as what's going to happen after this. But listen, I I'm not judging you. I understand you got things going on. We'll we'll get through this whole process. I'll explain it to you so you know what's coming next. Okay. So, raise your hands and smile your back. Uh, release that finger. There you go. Just like that. I know it sucks. Alright, we're gonna come around here. The passenger side of my car. So you're gonna step up and slide underneath that blue belt. So you go across your chest. Yep, step down. Alright. So is there anything inside the car you want to have come with you? Like cell phone, wallet? I would just like my cell phone, please, and my wallet. Alright, so kind of, so you know what's coming next. The vehicle is going to be towed. Okay, I'll give you the paperwork as far as where it's being taken to and the instructions for what you need to do to be able to get it back. Uh, I'll have... Sir, is there... Like, up here? Like, is there any way I can just get my mom to come pick me up? You can tow the car. Unfortunately. Uh, so... Any way we can do something else, man. I, I promise, so, man. Trick I had was at 8 p.m. I was driving with my knee. I'm trying to eat just chicken nuggets, just being impatient getting home. Listen, okay. Uh, well, just, unfortunately, we're past that point man. now. Okay. I Like I said, I appreciate being respectful with me. I'm going to be respectful right back, okay? Unfortunately, I've got a job I got to do. I, I understand. Okay. I understand. I wish you was just something I, something different man. I hear you. it's just this is like this is just affecting man a lot you know i know i and know I hope, but like, this, this is something that is this something that will affect you know opportunities in the future because like i said i just i just i'm about to graduate from december uh -huh. i'm leaving in, in july to go to san francisco to work a job like i just you know i don't want me sitting here driving my knee i had some beers with a friend for a friend's birthday at 8 p.m you know i relaxed i sat back you know i wanted to stay a while just so i can you know not have this chance of doing this and it's just a stupid mistake of driving trying to eat food at the same time like i will it's, tow my car i will i will pay a ticket whatever i'll take classes but yeah like a well, dui sir come on i got some things i gotta get going on i hear you but we're past that point okay so give me a minute i'll be back here to talk with you <laughs> I not even I wish, I just don't understand, you know, like what it was a simple mistake driving with me and I, I, I'll take the ticket to find whatever it is, but I just don't want anything detrimental to like my life, what I got going in my future going forward. Right. So, so like I said, man, it's not the issue of driving with your knee. Like it was your driving pattern was terrible. You were all over the road. So it, it's it's not just you driving with your knee. I think, like I said, I think the alcohol has definitely played a, a factor in that. If, if you don't agree with that, that's, that's fine. I, I don't expect you to, but I, I think it's more than just you're eating while you're driving, right? The reason why I was asking about the alcohol at the window is because I could smell it. And that's why I was asking about it. And then I'm not going to get in an argument with you on, on the side of the road. If you tell me you haven't been drinking, I can still smell it. I know at that point you're not being truthful with me, which is common. I, I don't blame you. Uh, I understand that type of situation has got to be nerve wracking, but it's 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 the whole totality of, of all the circumstances I got to base that decision off of. Does that make sense? It, it makes sense, but the only reason I jerked was honestly I was driving my knee, trying to you know open a sauce pack, eat chicken nuggets, and what you saw, the sauce pack was freshly open. Open. Do you have any questions for me right now, just based on the next step? Okay. Stall 306, 1051 has a vehicle of each transporting my 82 to special ops.